What is up guys? Welcome to Anime Bar and today we're talking about Vinland Saga. <sighs> Let's get to it. Y'all thought I was done, huh? Ooh. All right. Vinland Saga. That episode was awesome. Awesome. You need, you need, I need to commend this anime on something that not a lot of animes do, right? Either they go straight CG or they go straight hand-drawn 2D. And this one, like Kimetsu no Yaiba, is doing it great. It's, it's mixing the two platforms, so 2D with the CG, 3D, which I'm not a big fan of, but I am a super fan of when they do it like this. You know what? One time for the 2D and the CG to get there, we toast that. All right, amazing episode. Y'all know about that character development and that story development, and guess what, guys? Viking King, I think that was the Viking King. I, I want to hear his name. I want to see who's the guy in the throne right now. Maybe they said it. If they did, comment down below because I don't freaking remember. Um, says we're not rating until next summer, and his fat ass actually saying that if you see him, they don't even show his face. He says I'm a lead one too. You looked at him like, bro, please. Which maybe it was foreshadowing. Maybe it wasn't with that with the Frank, um, that fat little Frank leader, Captain Prince King, whatever he was, because he really was a shit. Um, that's how, you know, you, you, people, you need to be like Askeladd. You need to be like that. That's how you lead your people. That's it. And that's why I commend that character because his people die for him. You feel what I'm saying? Like they love him. And, and you know, they were talking about it. Like, I guess the news got out there and everybody's like, oh, we're not ready until next summer. So what are we going to do till then? Askeladd's like, we're going to do something though. We're going to follow them birds. Figuratively, but he, but he ended up. And I guess uh, you know a Frank nation, and he sees that the two Frank that the, the, there's two Frank sides fighting against each other for I guess control or to be the king of that nation or to be the king of that territory or whatever it may be. Askeladd's a smart ass dude, and he's like, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna side with the losing guys. They can't say no to us because they just got their asses beat. We're gonna side with them, and then we're gonna go fade them fade, fade the, the the real dudes that won all right and then we're just gonna take everything and write on these people that's what we do that's what we do all right and guess what that's exactly what he did but besides that remember what i said last last review i said when Askeladd commanded thorfinn to do something thorfinn there was no there was no pushback thorfinn just said you know put a little face or whatever but he did it he did it but we got pushed back in this episode. Thorfinn's like, hey, I'm done, man. I'm done. Like, like, what do I need to do? I showed you that I shoot the fade. I run all these errands for you. I'm that little messenger boy, and I do a good damn job at it. And and you still haven't shot me the fade. We still haven't fought. I need to avenge my father. I need to, I, like, what's good? And Askeladd puts it to the side. He's like, you know what? You need to bring me... Um, a head with a with a with a with a helmet, basically like a captain, like someone of rank. Yo, Thorfinn said, "What? All right." And he arrives to that challenge, and wow, did we get some great like that the, the scene where he climbs the wall, sees who he needs to kill, looks like his dad, bro. Bam bam, killing these people, and then you get that scene when he cuts the fingers off. Boom! Wow, great animation. Gets to the captain, bam, slice, sliced his head right off. Nice, because it falls in the water and he has to jump in there and get it. Wow. Dedicated ass dude, which which leads, like, the Thorfinn we got in episode one, two, and three, the little kid, that, that ain't this dude. For him to go to such extremes is really showing what he's going to become or how uh, how much he went through to get and, and 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 one big thing that I keep saying is obviously he went from a, a baby 
basically to what he is now with these people since his dad died so it's amazing to me and i'm pretty sure we're gonna get an episode where there is some type of some type like i said in my last review i think if he when he kills Ascalon, if he kills Ascalon, there's he might shed a tear because at the end of the day who's been who's been feeding him who's been you know doing who's you know who's been doing all this stuff for him who's been feeding him who's who, who's been there for him and that's that would be Ascalon. um and there's a nice scene because like i said we wanted to see where dorfin stands dorfin and we got that there's the pushback he did what he has to do now i challenge you to a duel but where does Ascalon stand in all of this how does he feel about dorfin and he's like hey B bjorn is second in command he's like yo like you see how you just rebuttal that you what if he lies what if he he does something he's not supposed to do Ah, oh, well then he just dies they be killing messengers all, all the time so does he care does he not care one thing we do know at least that's what i got was that Askeladd really respects thors like that scene like he's like yo i really respect you like so there has to be something there for his son that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. They get all the plunder. Amazing fight scenes. You get to see. They carry the boat for God's sakes. Wow. They. How strong are these dudes? They carry the damn boat up whatever. And bah, and, this, and that's kind of just there with his sword like, hey, we're running this fade right now. Wow. At the end of the day, they got all the, the gold. They got everything. They basically told the Frank King, which... At the end of the day, the king ain't nobody. Nobody respects him. You even see his, his people like, bro, you just sit on your ass. But besides the point, he, they make him look like a fool. They're like, where's Thorfinn? The motherfucker was holding his breath for God knows how long, looking for the head. That's how committed he is. And he got the head, throws it on the boat. Right when Askeladd and everybody's, uh, you know, rioting and being happy as hell about that, that plunder. He's like, hey, I did what you said. Let's shoot this thing. Let's shoot this fade. Ask a lot of septic, but we get no fade. They just run, uh, you know, they, they gotta run away, they do. And and it ends with, with Thorfinn kind of like sitting by himself, like, I guess, you know, <laughs> I guess I have to wait longer, but it's nice progression. You know, we're, we're, we're seeing how he feels. Wh what is this new man he's becoming into? Is he gonna fight with Askeladd? If he kills Ascalad, you know, because the people are respecting him. The, the crew that he's with is respecting Thorfinn. Is there, it, you know, one time for Thorfinn. One time for Thorfinn. They're respecting him. They're like, yo, are you okay? Did you, you, did you really do that? Did you not do that? Like, what? They're respecting him. So if he kills Ascalad, will Thorfinn be the leader of them? Will Bjorn? rise to the occasion and be like no nah, i'm second in command i'm taking lead um will thorfinn feel some type of way if he kills Askeladd? will Askeladd let him win and be like you know my time has come i have a successor uh, yeah, i don't know it's kind of greedy so let's see what happens great episode let me know what you guys think down below like and subscribe one time for the one time we're almost done Have a good one.